This is a Supco M500 mega ohmmeter. And this is an old hand crank biddle. You turn this three revs a second, puts out 500 volts, 160 RPM. Anyways, it goes from a thousand mega ohms down to zero. And so the Sumpco's range 20 to 100. Thousand is between 20 here and a thousand. So if you kind of want to explore what's really kind of going down at a lower range, sometimes one of these older devices. Uh, is interesting to use to kind of see how bad of a screwed up insulation you have. It gives you some clues about whether you've got some wire that's just got something broken on it or something touching a frame or is it completely a dead short. Okay, over here is I'm going to use the uh, Megger here on the compressor wires to the frame of the machine. This is the frame of the train here. Hook this under one of the compressor wires. Then the other wires over here need to be not touching anything. I'm going to go push this down. Get about 300 to 400 megs, which is good. Earlier it was completely the bad because it was crap down in the connector. Uh, down in the housing where the uh, wires go in because it had a bunch of marsh grass in there. Put that on the frame. Put this on one of the compressor wires. This is an old Navy unit. Need a trawler tripod. I'm supposed to do this three times a second. It reads about roughly about 300, 100 to 300 mega ohms, which is good. It'll go from 20 down to zero, so you can get half a meg, one meg. So if you come over here and look at the heater wires on this train. And I go from the ground over here to the one of the heater wires. That also goes to the uh, thermostat down there. It'll read bad below 20 megs. And it might just be the insulation's broken down. If I put this on the older one, I can see where it is below 20 megs. I'm going to put the mega on the heater. It's about a mega ohm roughly. So it's not a total short. This has probably got salt crap on the zip cord here. And that's just enough that it's going through onto the uh, leaking to ground shouldn't be used but that's just it's not like it's a total dead short this is a, a Biddle Z M55 swing so sometimes two of these devices is good because it just gives you in the ballpark good bad caution it's excellent and then the I want to know where it was below 20 it's about a meg it's a mega ohm 500 volts, at least on this is 500 volts. Again, these are the wires from the heater. The zip cord here hooks to a train crankcase heater, and then the two purplish uh, blue ones are the ones that go to the thermostat that turns it on and off. Uh, below, I think around 70 or something like that. So in the unit, these two hot are up to 220 volts. And I think it puts like 60, 40 to 60 watts to heat the heater up.